Oh, uh, to his deal? Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, so, it's a... Uh, whatever, the deal's done. And um, that was kind of, um, you know, the hope. I'm, I'm fired up for the organization. Really fired up for Tua um, and, the, and, and the work he's done to... Um, to receive something like that, I think it's a, um, a a cool validation for sure. And, and you know, I think what's been cool about the process is, um, you know, I think uh, Coach Bevel's done an outstanding job um, with Tua um, to connect to the fact that hey, whatever's going on, um, you know, our focus is what we're going to do today in developing our game. Um, to you know, make the ground, um, make the gains that we we expect in the off season from Tua. So the 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 from my perspective, I'm happy, but I also expected it um, to get done. And now that it's done, it's about um, uh, moving forward because um, you know it it's maybe a handshake and a smile, but it's not a celebration. Um, you know, it's a it's a cool point for the organization to move forward. But moving forward, we are. Well, there's a it's a pretty hot place to be a quarterback in the National Football League, um, and so there's you get a lot of reps um, at seeing how people respond to things. Um, I, I think that is absolutely the nature um, that you should expect, um, and and something that I know too is very very aware of. Um, and, you know, I think that's one of the cool things about sports is, um, you know, Tua can know that, his teammates know that, um, and, the, the, you know, they already have pressure and expectations for themselves. So, you know, I think, you know, just as long as you acknowledge that, um, which, uh, you know, quite frankly, Tua has um, shown me that throughout the entire off season that he knows what time it is. Um, and you, fortunately, uh, him and all of his teammates can go out and determine, um, you know, whatever the narrative is built upon by the way they play. So we focus on the way we play, um, understanding that we will always hear about the results, um, regardless of what they are. So why don't we try to, uh, move the needle on what those results are so then, um, we uh, and and focus on that and nothing else because that's um, that's what our jobs are. I feel outstanding about the fact that um, the I feel really good about the team. I feel uh, out really good about Tua, and I will always be determined by the success or failure of the team, as it should be. It's it's black and white. Um, your success or failure that's cool about sports uh there's a lot of variables in that um but that's not something i think you run from you you embrace it because um you know you worry about what you can control and then when things that you can't control happen you adjust from there and can keep it moving but there's plenty of people that could be uh you know a head coach of a team and lose a ton of games okay um, you, you have to win and be successful, um, you know, and that's, I, I knew that the very first day, um, I got the job. And so, um, whatever is coming with whatever narrative and extracurricular thing, um, is, doesn't really bother me. I mean, uh, what's the best way to say it? It's, it's, uh, why, one of the absolute main reasons you get into coaching. You, you hope that you can help people realize them be their best selves. Um, so for him to be at this part of his journey um, with the growth, and, you know, it's, 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 that's why you do what you do. Um, and, and it's also... Uh, you know, I think you're you're also in the process, really, really making sure that that 
whatever player that is getting compensated in whatever way, okay, um, you are you are trying to get their game to a point where they can be in that market to do that. And the second you're in that market to do anything, what comes from that? So you don't get surprised by it. So it's it is really really cool for the the organization. It's really cool for for Tua. Um, something that uh, has been a lot of a lot of man hours, a lot of investment, um, you know. And there's, an, I mean, what's cooler than that? You know, I think a lot of people can get get on board with that story. Um, and but it's it's hard for me to talk about it without the you know the caveat that our our objective was to continue growth and work together. And um, in that process, you get compensated. Um, and then you get compensated, and 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 what do you do um, with with the organization for yourself and for your family with that with this tremendous opportunity? So um, it, it it's a cool moment that we are uh, we we have we have a couple high fives, and we're moving on today's practice to really get after that, and that's that's. One of the reasons why he has the, he has the contract he has is because that's the type of person he is. After the news broke, does that give players more energy? I think it does uh, naturally. Um, you're not you're you know they have a lot to worry about um, each and every play, and and the, they're focused on you know improving all sorts of things within their game and understanding their assignments and how they relate to their teammates. You know, but there's nothing. It, the second you walk out the door, it feels different um, for practice, uh, and you know I think it's a nice little reminder because it's always after a, a long break. Remember the first, the last time they were in a situation where they're doing what they do um, uh, professionally and what they love. Uh, the last time they had fans to do it in front of um, was the season previous. So it, it, it's always a, a fun. Fun day that gets you some juice. Um, you may may see some guys lathered in uh, in stretch because you know it's hard to come out of the doors of the of the facility and not get a break that's carried by the the fans being here. So really excited for that. Um, the team knows they're coming, and um, we should uh, get some some extra juice on on top of the juice that we've already had each and every practice. It's been pretty good. After the coming Yeah, I think um, there's it. There's a lot of judgment that you can have without pads if you practice the right way. Having said that, there's always the caveat. There's always the asterisk of okay. Well, is that going to translate um, with the pads? And how do you know how to how does an edge um, how does the tight end go after um, the edge player on a run play with pads on? Um, who's winning the point of attack? Uh, it, you know, football's played with pads. Um, it's a nice, it's a good evaluator um, and next natural evolution. Um, so it, it, we have a lot of information, but the information is incomplete. You're right, without pads. So you're telling me. He he thanked me by name. I've never heard of this. For the record, positive stuff I would love to hear about. Um, yeah, it's, it's humbling. It's humbling. I, I you know, I, I for me, I, um, it's it's really cool to be a part of um, somebody's journey, and for them to see that you're a positive um, impact on that. Um, but you know, it, immediately. It's hard for me to really accept that fully without wanting to just babble all the all the people that uh, that are instrumental in his process and development. Um, first and foremost, him, but you know, you're, you're talking about his position coach, Daryl Bevel. Um, he's he's those guys are thick as thieves, and I'm really um, I'm really proud of how he's been a part of that too. So it's hard for me to accept. Um, that I appreciate it, um, but it was a lot of 
people working together. Um, and first and foremost, that's Tua doing it. And I think that's probably the hardest part. Would you guys agree? No. I can tell you the same stuff I tell Tua. Will you do it? Okay. Well? Oh, okay. Well, that was a very high-level observation. You're, you're, uh, you're very right on that. Um, and that, you know, really if I'm you guys and I'm observing practice, those types of things would fire me up the most. Because what that means, if you have, um, you know, the, the players on your team that have had, that, that have the most footing in the league, the star players, when they are um, communicating about what they just saw and, and being able to share how certain things affect, um, uh, you know, how, how to his footwork affects Jalen, how Jalen, what he's seen, um, for everyone, that's a win. That's also a, a tone setter um, for the entire team, you know, when, when you're uh, players of that caliber. Um, and and I and there, those conversations about high level intricacies about the 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 quarterbacks drop and about um, you know vision zoning players and all these things these are conversations that are coming up a lot um, because what I see are are players um, more invested than they've ever been and uh, and I've seen plenty of investment here so uh, the. All the things play into trying to be elite at your job. Quarterback footwork for um, the back end. Um, if you're trying to get turnovers, um, is is pretty important. If you're trying to get PBUs, it's pretty important. Um, and those are things that are beyond their playbook responsibility. Um, that can only you can only get real gains in your game if you have. Um, 22 players really going after it in a game-like fashion so you can get game-like line, game -like reps. Um, yeah, it was, to say the least, um, you know, I, I think I, you know, I'm, an, I'm, a, I'm, I'm of unassuming stature. Um, but when I get enough adrenaline and I'm pretty excited, you know, I can surprise some people with my leverage and and my strength and and my and my hug surprised him. I can tell because he spilled his coffee. <laughs> oh, coffee. So this means that you knew before practice started. Absolutely not. We uh, we have we have players we have players attacking the day to the level of early afternoon coffees are like you know. Um, a dime a dozen. Okay, we, we so he that that moment. Um, you know, I wasn't playing on that, but it, it, it's definitely something you remember. Um, that's just just you know how um, it, it's hard not to have a lot of time um, pass through your mind really fast. Uh, but it it was something cool to share, um, and he was coordinated enough not to spill the coffee that I spilled onto me, so I was fired up about that as well. Pick him up with the hug? Is this, is that I basically him? suplexed him. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then Chris was very mad. No, um, no yeah, it was just, uh, it was just a, a leverage form fit, N nothing to the ground. You know, we, we, we didn't violate the CBA. We're good. Well, he, uh, first and foremost, um, very rare that I get feedback so early in the in the off season from so many people about you know I effing love this guy okay um, one is teammates over just by how he goes about business um, uh, in the off season and then you take that to you know in terms of you're developing the defense um, and they're and developing camaraderie when you have a player, um, you know that that is as bought in as he is, and and a connectivity that he has with Joe Barry and and Anthony Weaver, he's been able to 
um, really execute some fundamentals and techniques at such a high level, take an indie, indie to team, that he's he's really helped the rest of the group in a couple of situations where a lot of times as players, you hear it from the coach, you see it one time from a teammate, oh, and then it's able to be replicated. So he he's pushing the envelope in his game while also bringing others along with him, uh, and and it he he is had I, I I gave him a hard time just uh, just today. He's had his hands on um, multiple passes, but right now he's um, just the first pick for the uh, beach volleyball team because his bump set spike is leading the league. But he, he's going to come. When he, being around the ball as much as he is, he's going to start getting some uh, interceptions soon. and it, You'll see a lot of teammates cheering, which I think is very telling. You know, the, the, we have some great news. There's been no setbacks. Um, I hate to do this, but pro, you know, there's, there's partial credit due to the fact there hasn't been timelines set on them, so they haven't overpressed, you know. <clears throat> uh, but they... they, uh, they I'm very, very proud of them because, first and foremost, you know, I spoke at length. They're, they're the biggest challenge and concern that I have is that they, uh, they try to get back too soon. And that's just natural for their competitiveness and what they, how they love football. But they are a fixture um, when, after they get their work in, after they get their movements done. Um, where they're they're pressing um, un, uncharted territory uh, every day, um, they are a big part of our practice every day, and that's because they they are out there. Um, you know, I, I can always tell where they're at in their rehab because you know how vibrant their cellies are, uh, their celebrations are. I mean, they are a fixture of the team while being hindered from playing. It is very hard to do. Only special people can can move the entire team's needle based upon um, how they're, how present they are and how invested they are in their teammates. Um, but they, they are in a cool spot um, helping the team as they work their way back on the field. Oh, so really fired up about Brew um, and what he's going to um, be able to contribute to our, our offensive line. He's done a tremendous job, um, you know, assimilating into the group and really taking to some of the things that we ask um, players to do that may be a little unique um, uh, based upon their history. Uh, and, you know, he he's, he's a guy that um, – you know, can be a weapon in the run game. And I think he sees himself that way. We see it that way. Um, the way he comes off the ball, how lightning quick he is and um, the leverage he plays with. And and I think, um, yeah, that I've, I've been, I've become like more wise in my, in my coaching years and snap issues used to just trigger me to all end um now the process i still get triggered but it's really fast because it is it is a part of the process that you do have to um that you have to understand when you have quarterbacks and centers and guards playing with different people at the beginning of the camp and you're using multiple snap counts and you're going against um, multiple looks. It is something that um, is I'm used to. You wish it didn't happen, um, but the main thing is is you want to see uh, some improvement and development as the time goes on. If you have cons the same issues with the same players um, continuously, that's when it's a huge red flag. Otherwise, um, you're just making sure that the the issues that you had are addressed and worked on, and then hopefully um, those are corrected. We just want them corrected early. Thank you. Thank you.